A Galactic Human Journey. This is the Milky Way Galaxy, with an estimated 200 to 400 billion stars. It's 100,000 light years across. And here's the position of Earth within the Orion Spur. This red circle shows stars within 10,000 light years of Earth. And this story is about star races, mostly within 700 light years of Earth. This story comes from several sources. The Prism of Lyra, Extraterrestrial Vision, Who is Here and Why, Galactic History, Your Galactic Neighbours, Hybrid Humans, The Real History of Earth, Al Turinga, Meet the Hybrids, and The Star Races. This story begins 20 billion years ago, when the universe began as a point of light. A Big Bang expansion occurred 14 billion years ago. The first planets formed 12 billion years ago. And the first plants 10 billion years ago. Earth formed 4.5 billion years ago. Animals evolved 4 billion years ago. Plants evolved on Earth 1.5 billion years ago, and animals from 1 billion years ago. The universe is multidimensional. Energy forms exist across a spectrum. This story uses a 12 density dimension scale, from high frequency 12th density to low frequency 1st density. Density usually refers to beings or awareness, and dimension to domains or realms. A few billion years ago, high-frequency celestial beings appeared near Lyra to explore this galaxy. Lyra is 25 light-years from Earth. These beings are sometimes known as 12th density founders or Elohim. So consciousness began to explore our evolving conscious multiverse. One billion years ago, the founders created a light body to explore lower frequencies. The light body could interact with high frequency forms across the galaxy, but would pass right through lower frequency or density forms, such as third density planets. The light body was created using light codes. At lower frequencies, light codes became DNA molecules. The founders combined the light codes with DNA from primates evolving on Lyran planets. This created a humanoid body that could live on planets below 7th density. The celestial light body could then merge with the planetary humanoid body, or incarnate. This gave high density light beings a sensory experience in lower density humanoid bodies. Over time, Lyrans evolved and developed advanced civilizations. Hundreds of millions of years ago, some Lyrans moved to Sirius, adapting to the new environments. Sirius is nine light years from Earth. DNA from evolving mammals, primate, reptile, avian, feline, was adapted to create new hominoid species. Three groups of mammals evolved in Vega, humanoid, humanoid reptilian, and reptilian. Two cultures developed as civilizations expanded in Lyra, Vega, and Sirius. Service to self for the good of all, and service to others for the good of all. Today, 80% of civilizations adopt a service to others philosophy. One aspect of galaxy exploration was polarity, 
night and day, death, life, masculine, feminine, separation, union. Polarities were more extreme at lower densities. And as consciousness explored lower densities, life on planets became increasingly polarized. Consciousness that had incarnated into lower densities often forgot they were multidimensional beings. It was only after the death of the body that consciousness or soul remembered who it was. Lifetimes were generally shorter on lower third density planets. As polarities increased, cultures began to clash and conflict spread across Lyra, Vega and their neighbours. Hundreds of millions of years ago, this ongoing conflict resulted in the Great Lyran Galactic War. Planets were destroyed and billions of lives were lost. After the Great Lyran War, vegans and Lyrans moved to Altair, Centauri and Sirius. Altair is 17 light years from Earth. Centauri is 4 light years from Earth. And Sirius is 9 light years from Earth. Evolution and advanced genetics helped each species adapt to the environment of the planets. Unfortunately, serious conflict developed between the groups in the Sirius system. The elders of Sirius intervene and move the groups to Orion. Orion is 720 light years from Earth. 200 million years ago, groups from Lyra and Vega again looked for a place with less conflict. They found our solar system. Vegans moved to Mars and Lyrans to Earth. 50 million years ago, another group of Lyrans came to Earth, bringing their old conflicts. 30 million years ago, Earth Lyrans moved to the Pleiades to escape growing conflicts. The Pleiades are 444 light years from Earth. The Pleiadian civilization evolved to become harmonious, peaceful, and loving. Complex life evolved across the galaxy, creating exquisite beauty. Some civilizations lived above or below the planet's surface to protect the environment, and other civilizations destroyed their planet through pollution or war. Orion civilizations expanded into an empire of controlling dominators and selfless victims. The empire became technologically advanced while in deep spiritual conflict. Widespread conflict became the Orion Wars of 20 million years ago. The Orion Wars lasted for eons and had many similarities with the Star Wars movies. A resistance group formed, but force was met with force, resulting in a stalemate. The Pleiadians stepped in to zealously counter the negativity of the Orion Empire. The Empire struck back and destroyed a populated Pleiadian planet. The Pleiadians withdrew from the conflict. Non-physical beings from Arcturus and Sirius offered holistic healing energies. Arcturians were, and still are, recognised as specialists in emotional healing. Arcturus is 37 light years from Earth. Syrians were, and still are, recognised as specialists in physical healing. The founders decided to assist in Orion. Twelfth density consciousness, in the form of an Orion Christ, reminded Orions they were multidimensional beings. Victims gradually became empowered in their personal sovereignty, and the Empire slowly lost its power. Over time, peace was established across most of the Orion Empire. Ten million years ago, new groups of reptilians from Alpha Draconis and Orion came to Maldek and Mars for exploration and conquest. Alpha Draconis is 309 light years from Earth. The Orions and Draconians interbred with species already living on Maldek and Mars. Maldekian civilization developed into warring factions and discovered neutron technology. Nuclear conflicts escalated that eventually shattered the planet and created the asteroid belt. Most of the 10 million souls who perished 
later incarnated on Mars. Several million years ago, the rich diversity of life on Earth attracted beings from many star systems. Advanced genetics and research was taught to many alien species. Alien life and DNA was brought to Earth and humanoid DNA was taken to 100 star systems. Three million years ago, Pleiadians, Lyrans and Syrians began to work together to upgrade hominoid DNA on Earth. Pleiadian DNA, some originally from Earth, was used with evolved Earth DNA to create a new species. A hundred million beings from several star systems lived in large cities on the surface of Mars. 1.4 million years ago, conflict escalated into atomic war, destroying the fragile ecosystem. 10% of the population survived by moving into underground cities. A million years ago, Earth hominoid DNA was adjusted to prepare for evolution to fourth and fifth densities. At that time, Earth hominoids already had DNA from several star beings, including reptilian. Over the last few million years, alliances developed across the galaxy. The Galactic Federation now represents 200,000 star systems. The Pleiades joined 300,000 years ago and Draconia joined in 1998. Around 800,000 years ago, Pleiadians, with several other star races, decided to migrate to Earth. A large crystalline mothership was created for 50,000 travellers. An agreement to land was reached with the reptilians living on and above the Earth. When the crystalline ship arrived, it was attacked and destroyed by reptilians who broke the agreement. 90 star beings escaped and landed or crashed in what's now known as southeastern Australia. Pieces of molten mothership fell to the earth. With the help of some friendly reptilians, the survivors built a community. Genetics and interbreeding with local hominoids eventually created a thriving new race. This new race was intellectually and spiritually advanced and spread across Australia. 200,000 years ago, a pole shift caused cataclysmic destruction on Earth. Half of Earth's 1.5 billion human population perished. After these changes, a large area of land called Lemuria, or Mu, appeared in the Pacific Ocean. The energy of Lemuria attracted peaceful beings from the Pleiades, Sirius and Orion. 100,000 years ago, warring star systems connected with Earth's long history signed a galactic peace treaty. However, those already on Earth from these star systems continued their ego-driven conflicts. 100,000 years ago, Earth geography looked different, although the continents were in similar positions. 50,000 years ago, Earth cataclysms submerged the western half of Lemuria. Before sinking, survivors fled to what is now Australia, Indonesia and India. After 50,000 years ago, Atlantis became a dominant and dominating civilization. Atlantis was a technologically advanced civilization in contact with various star beings. Atlanteans were a mix of Pleiadian, Orion and Draco genetics and culture. The Atlanteans developed a crystal energy generator to power their civilization. Some Atlanteans traded this crystal technology for Orion military equipment. 30,000 years ago, Atlanteans attempted to use the crystal energy for military purposes. Miscalculations resulted in a catastrophic explosion that destroyed much of Atlantis and the remainder of Lemuria. Very large areas of land were covered in lava flows. When this land sank, the ocean rolled in, creating steam that caused weeks of rain. A few thousand Atlanteans escaped in airships landing in Central and South America and Egypt. 12,000 years ago, Atlanteans accidentally triggered their own final sinking, attempting to rebuild the crystal generator. Following the final destruction of Atlantis, Egypt became the dominant civilization. Syrians with technology, psychic ability and inflated egos arrived and became the gods and gurus of the ancient world. They were joined by Orions and Dracos who were interested in enslaving Earth populations. 
Syrians withdrew from influencing Earth's cultural and political affairs in the Middle Ages. In the 1940s, at the start of our atomic age, two Zeta groups, Greys, came to Earth. Zeta Reticuli is 39 light years from Earth. One Zeta group had survived pollution and war on their planet by living underground. However, they had become sterile and could only reproduce through cloning. Human DNA and hybrid breeding involving abductions was organised to avert extinction. Star beings became concerned about the atomic age and environmental degradation. UFOs deactivated nuclear sites and missiles to prevent disaster from accidents and atomic war. From the 1940s, a few service-to-self ETs began secret contact with some governments. So far, the story has been about star beings within 720 light-years of Earth. Beings from the Andromeda Galaxy have also played a role in Earth's long history. The Andromeda Galaxy is 2.5 million light-years from Earth. A wormhole connects the Andromeda Galaxy to the Milky Way Galaxy. The wormhole exits near Antares, which is 604 light-years from Earth. The Andromedans have helped prevent nuclear disaster several times since 1945. A new galactic treaty in the mid-1990s resulted in more star races joining the Galactic Federation. Star races that had made self-serving deals with secret Earth groups stopped cooperating. In 1995, Zetas successfully completed their DNA and hybridisation programs. Today, many hybrid children and adults are living on motherships. Some are living on Earth. Hybrids indicate that their purpose is to help anchor fifth density frequencies on Earth, to act as bridges between ETs and humanity, and to be of service to individuals, humanity and Mother Earth. Human DNA has been adapted many times by different star beings. Dormant DNA has become active over the last few decades, resulting in enhanced abilities. Increasing numbers of children are remembering their cosmic heritage. So what's the most likely future? Over the last 20 years, various disclosure agenda have been in play. Governments, whistleblowers, investigative journalists, researchers, contactees and experiences, hybrid children and adults, ETs and EDs, extra dimensionals, have all had a role to play in this disclosure agenda. Over the 20 years, contact with ETs has really been with individuals and groups more than governments. CE5 close encounter groups are forming across the planet to initiate human contact. A CE5 documentary was released in 2020. An emerging galactic worldview helps us to see that we are genetically, culturally and spiritually part of a galactic human family. Our galactic neighbourhood has a rich history. Earth is much loved by many star beings. Perhaps Earth will soon be ready to join the Galactic Federation.